The Lakers have a very new roster, and with that comes a new starting five. So what is the starting five the Lakers should move forward with? And what gives them their best chance to get to the postseason? So far, it looks like Darvin Ham is sticking with the starting lineup of D'Angelo Russell at the 1, Malik Beasley at the 2, LeBron and Vanderbilt, interchangeable at the 3 and the 4, and Anthony Davis at the 5. Granted, it's a very small sample size, but it looks good so far, and I doubt they change it unless they run into some issues. So I think it's pretty obvious that LeBron and AD are going to be a part of any starting lineup, and more than likely, D'Lo is in there too. It's just a matter of what positions they play. Now this first iteration mentioned is a little bit weak defensively in the backcourt. D'Angelo is a big guard, but he's not very athletic. Malik Beasley is a bit undersized for it too, and neither one is really known for their defense. However, they did hold their own in the first few games. If that lasts, then that would be amazing. That would be the perfect starting backcourt. However, that's unlikely to hold up against bigger, more athletic, and more talented backcourts. To have a better balance defensively, I think it would be better to replace Malik Beasley with Austin Reeves. Now, Austin is not as good of a shooter as Beasley, but more importantly, he's not as confident of a shooter as Beasley, which really helps with the spacing and keeps the defense honest. But he's still one of the better shooters on the team, so the defense will definitely have to guard him behind the line. And he's a better playmaker than Beasley and could be a secondary ball handler. But what's really important is his superiority on the defensive end. He's a little bigger than Beasley and he's able to stick with his man on defense. And he could potentially guard the point guard if they don't want D'Lo to have that assignment. Now LeBron and AD are a lock in the front court, but the third guy inserted will shift around their positions. Probably the biggest question is where to play Anthony Davis. If you play AD at the 4, then I think Bamba is the obvious choice at the 5. He can provide spacing as well as shot blocking. However, I think that option is long gone. AD is clearly at his best when he plays the 5. I was actually a big proponent of AD playing the 4 at the start of the season. But more so for his health and preservation, not so much for putting out the best lineup. But now that ship has sailed. AD already got injured, he missed a lot of time, and as a result, pretty much every game now is a must win if they want to make the playoffs. And they need to put their best team out there. So that's AD at the 5. Now I think Darvin Ham made the right choice starting Vanderbilt. Defensively, that's a very solid and versatile group. LeBron and Vando are pretty much interchangeable, and I think Vando will take on the harder assignments on defense. The only problem is there's not much of a 3-point threat between AD and Vanderbilt. Let's just say any 3-pointer made from these two is a bonus. They can hit a 3 on occasion, but it's not something you can really rely on as part of your offense. If you want to lean more towards offense, then Rui Hachimura would probably be a better option. He's not a sniper by any means, but he is a more willing 3-point shooter than AD or Vanderbilt. Plus, he can create for himself and be a threat from the mid-range. But between LeBron, AD, and D'Angelo, I think there's enough offense in the starting lineup, and Rui's skill set would be better utilized in the second unit. So the biggest change I would make to the starting lineup is inserting Austin Reeves. But the starting lineup that they've been going with so far has been doing really well. And if they get results, I'm not going to complain. Hopefully they start to figure things out, gain chemistry with each other, and hopefully make a run at the playoffs, or possibly even further.